Talking to the movies, talking to the movies, talking to the movies for you. Okay, okay, okay. Welcome to Hagen Does Movies, where I review movies in my bathroom for you. Uh, before I forget, if you guys are interested in one of these shirts, Hagen Does Movies, uh, put it in the comments on uh, YouTube, or if you're watching it on, on Facebook, uh, put it in there. This week I reviewed Sugar Skull Girls on Amazon Prime, and it was directed by Christian uh, Grillo, uh, starring Eddie Miller, Michael Berryman, and Liza Easterbrook. Sugar Skull Girls is about this grandfather who lost his granddaughter and we don't really know how he lost her but in the beginning he hires a medium that tries to get her back from this you know uh, get her soul back from the, the alternative world some kind of world oh, something goes wrong there's like some three voodoo dolls that accidentally fall into um this potion the her assistant the medium assistant bumped it in and instead of bringing the granddaughter back they, uh, these three other souls come. Now they're like living with the grandfather and then they go to high school and they meet this other girl, I think her name's Lindsay, and they become friends. And then all of a sudden the pale witch from this other world who has an assistant who is played by Michael Berryman. Now Michael Berryman, he's actually a well-known uh, horror actor, like Hills of Eyes, he's been in uh, Weird Science. This guy's been around. Um, so it was kind of cool to see him. In, in the movie. The whole movie is about this witch trying to get these souls back and then but the the girls find out that she the witch has the grand uh, the granddaughter like in this like little locket and she's like drowning and, or whatever and uh, so they're like well we have to get her back. Some of the times I would I, I was just I straight up asked myself am I on drugs? Am I on drugs? Am I on drugs? I don't know. Um, it, it just the, it was really weird, man. I actually did uh, towards the end. I really liked like the last fifteen or twenty minutes of the film. I'm like I'm actually kind of like rooting for the girls, and I want the granddaughter to get back to the grandfather, and I want uh, that pale witch bitch to die. I actually did like some of the effects that they did. It felt like a 1990s TV show, like right after like Save Save by the Bell. But I'm gonna talk about a, a few things that I, I didn't really like. One scene was about this uh, nerdy girl. They put a spell on her. Um, not a spell on the nerdy girl, they put a spell on the popular girl to like the nerdy girl. So they hung out in like her bedroom for a really long time doing all these weird things. And I just felt like it went on really long and then we never see him again. And I just didn't feel like it pushed the story. Um, so I felt like that that scene could have been deleted, but I, I don't know. They, they had like a, a makeover scene and it just went on for a really long time. I understand why they did it. They're like, they're becoming friends and all that. So yeah, I, 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 I get that. So my rating, I'm going to give it... Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it uh, like two and a half uh, uh, spells, and uh, the reason I'm gonna give it that is I, I did like the, the towards the end, and I like the uh, pumpkin soldiers. They were really cool. Like they had some really cool um, practical effects in in this movie as well. Um, so watch the trailer. That'll kind of tell you what kind of movie you're getting into. If that's something you want to watch, give it a try, man. It's it's free on Amazon Prime. Also, you're gonna want to check out my movie. I had a bloody good time at House Harker. That's how I found this movie. There's a special list on Amazon Prime. Customers that watch I had a bloody good time at House Harker also watch these movies. So this is part of the show where I go and, and I I uh, pick a shitty review from my movie. You think you want me to try to sell you the movie more and do good reviews, but but you know, the, the thing is, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's opinion. Just because one person like one movie doesn't mean you're gonna like a movie. For example, I love Uncle Buck, but the greatest critic in the whole wide world, Roger Ebert, gave it a thumbs down, thumbs down. Roger Ebert gave it. But to this day, I love Uncle Buck, and I know a lot of people like Uncle Buck. You know, you can't not like Uncle Buck. I think I'm going to watch Uncle Buck tonight. Hey, I'm going to go into my shitty review here. Um, this this was by a uh, Amazon customer who goes by the username Night Bidfly. 97 and he wrote I guess if you're a huge comedy fan this would be great but I'm not I just thought it was very irritating <sighs> what <sighs> thank you I 
thank you. Um, so that's it for, for me, guys. Um, join me uh, next week where I'm going to review Hellraiser. That's going to be a good show. And uh, again, don't take my opinion too seriously because at the end of the day, I'm just a dude that reviews movies in his goddamn bathroom. Not bad.